In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at how we can actually write some PHP script and run it off the Digital Zone server. Now, this is the same process you would use for any server where you can actually FTP your file to a working directory, and then we're going to call that file on the server, and then we'll have the server execute that file and send us back the results. So what we'll be simulating is the request response cycle. So let's get underway. Now, one of the first things we need to do is write a very basic PHP script. So I'm using Atom, which is a free editor, and we're just going to go new file. Now in here, we need to open up our PHP tag using an open tag and then a question mark and then PHP. So when the file starts to get interpreted, it knows that this is some PHP script. And we also close that off with a question mark and a close bracket as well. We should indent to make sure that we are following good developer principles. And what we need to do is run our very first function. So what it's going to be called is PHP info. And what this will do is return the information about the PHP server that we're launching this off of. So then I need to save this. So I'm just going to go file, save as, and save it to my desktop. And I need to give it a name. So I'm going to call this test.php. Now it's really important that you actually call your files .php so you know what they're associated with. And you notice that in here there is no HTML tags at all. So it's running purely PHP. So when it gets interpreted, it'll go, oh, I'm running some PHP. Now that's an important thing to look at. All PHP is written in one tag. Here is our open tag that you would remember from HTML tutorials. And the PHP sits in the middle of this from the question mark to the question mark. So this is like a begin and an end. And everything inside of this then becomes instruction sets. So the next thing we want to do is click save on this. So now on my desktop, I have this file saved as test.php. What I need to do now is actually get this file onto the server. To do this, I'm going to use a program called Cyberduck. Now I have another tutorial on my YouTube channel that shows you how to set up these bookmarks in Cyberduck and how Cyberduck works and how you can configure this to talk to the Digital Zone server. So what I'm going to do is open up my account. And you can see all the files on the server at the moment. I'm going to work down into the folder that I'm working in and you'll see an Elmarsden folder here. And I'm going to select this. So the first thing I want to do is right mouse click and go new folder. So I'm going to create a new folder inside of my folder called L Marsden. Now, if you're one of my students, you'll have a student ID number. You can create a similar folder inside your folder. So I need to give the folder a name. Now, the best thing to do is say, pick the term that you're in. So I'm going to go T1 for say term one, and then I'm going to give it a week. So week, and let's say it's week 10. So I'm going to go week 10. So what I'm using is the term and also the week number. So therefore all my lesson materials or all the tutorials or all the code I need to do for that week will live inside this folder. You can have other subset folders like you then might have lessons, etc. But I'm just going to create this folder at the moment. So if you would like to make more folders, you can do so. If you'd like to go new folder, and then you can put lesson 01 and you can drag that inside and move that if needed. And then you can have lesson two, three, etc. So all your code will live in here. So I'm gonna leave this structure at the moment. So you notice that I'm inside of a, a year level, inside of a year, inside of a account, and then I've got the, say the term and the week, and then I've got the lesson number. So now what I wanna do is put my file in here. To do that, because we just saved this file onto our desktop, I can then drag that across and just put it into the folder. Cyberduck will then ask you to upload the file. It'll also mention that the, it's an unsecured web dev, HTTP and not SHTTP. And I'm just gonna click on continue and you notice the upload successful and the file appears here. Now what I need to do is call this by using a web browser on the server. Now the best way to do this, you can type the path out manually or I can right mouse click and go copy URL. So I'll just move this up. 
So I can go right mouse click and then go copy URL and then go across and copy that URL. Now that I've copied the Uniform Resource Locator, where it is on the internet, I can then open a browser and paste that in. So I'm just gonna use Chrome and I'm gonna right mouse click now and go paste. You'll now notice it's actually pasted the URL in with the server address right through to the folder, right through to the file that I just wrote. And then when I press return, it'll send a request for this file. Apache will process the file. It'll find the PHP file, then execute that PHP file. And then Apache will send me back the result. And this is what it sent me. So I've actually sent the server one line of code, which is PHP info, and this is what's returned. Information about the version of PHP that's running on the server. The other thing you'll notice if I right mouse click and go view page source, you can actually see all the information it's sent back minus my actual line of code. So this has been processed on the server and then the result being returned back to me. Now, if there was another file in there, like tutorial one, I would follow the same process where after writing the first set of code, I would then save that to my desktop. I would then use CyberDuck to upload the file. I can either go type this file name into the URL of the browser, or once again, right mouse click, copy URL, go back to my browser, paste the new URL in, press enter, and you can see the results of my code. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to my channel. Also post in the comment if you want any other tutorials made. And I wish you all the best in delving into PHP coding.